Well, awesome. Thank you, God. Thank you so much for uh, the word uh, that uh, Sir Ridge has ministered to us. Uh, it's such a great pleasure, the uh, power of the internet and uh, the power of radio waves that we've been just uh, blessed with that. Thank you, Father. Oh, well, I just wanted to continue the, uh, the uh, show today. Again, you're listening to Just Like Jesus here on Waves of Power uh, radio station. And we're so glad that we, again, could be a part of your uh, evening. Uh, I've got some great, uh, great news to share with you in light of what God is doing in Toronto. I was just uh, given a message from um, from our producer and uh, and uh, president of Waves of Power. Just some wonderful news about God's healing power still at work in the lives of people. A sister um, and, and, and a friend of the radio station uh, who was just stricken with cancer in her body, and the uh, and the and and the doctors had given up hope. And uh, we're treating her with medication and, of course, chemo. Um, but the, but the, the power of God and the Spirit of God just minister to her in such a great way. And today, she is healed. Uh, she continues to go for tests, and they're still amazed. And we're just so grateful to God because we know that it's, it's not of might, it's not of power, but it's by the Spirit of God that all these wonderful things can be. And you know what, my friends? That's a testimony. Now, that is a testimony. And if God has done a great thing in your life, uh, He doesn't want you to just keep it to yourself. He wants you to use it as a way to minister to people, to share it to people. Because you know what? It's not uh, you that are going to lead people to Jesus, but, but, but your message will open your, their eyes to the power and the beauty of the gospel of Jesus Christ, which includes healing for your sicknesses, and, and, and they will be able to just see God in a different light and just be able to receive. So you know what, my friends, let's just continue to give God thanks. I, I was just excited when I heard that, because you know what? It's amazing. Our God is still a God that's very much concerned about your sicknesses. He's a God that's very much concerned about you. Well, today... I've got a great message, and I'm so glad that I could be here with you. I was here last week with uh, Brother Jeff Chaco, and uh, uh, he was such a great minister of God's love and truth. And, uh, and, and so I was here this week again on my regular time slot, and uh, my, my wife, Sister Jenny, uh, she just sends her love. Uh, she's going to be back strong next week. Uh, but today I want to share with you a message that I've entitled, Made Righteous Through Christ made righteous through Christ. Now, this is an awesome message because this has to do with the believer. Uh, this has to do with you, uh, believer in Christ, you, my brother, my sister. You uh, have something that the world is looking for. You have God's righteousness. You have been made righteous through Christ. I want you to say that to yourself. I, I, this may sound weird, but hopefully you know, you're not going to look too strange. I want you to say to yourself right now, I have been made righteous through Christ. Well, there you go. Wonderful. I could hear some of you. Uh, but we have been made righteous through Christ. You know, uh, I want you to take us to the Bible. Uh, this is going to be a Bible study, so please grab your Bible, get on the internet, you know, pull up Bible.com, BibleGateway.com, Crosswalk.com, whatever, uh, whatever uh, Bible source you use. And I want us to turn to 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone and the new has come. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone and the new has come. My friend, you have been made righteous through Christ Jesus. I want you to say that to yourself. I want you to understand the truth of God's gospel. You know, a lot of times as believers, and I've met a lot of believers, and I myself have been in this place, where sometimes in life as a believer, you just don't feel righteous. You don't feel like you're God's righteousness. You don't feel like there's anything good in you, that there's any kind of worth in you. But I have good news. If you are in Christ Jesus, you are a new creation. The old man has gone and the new man has come. And that is something to boast about. That is something to be excited about because God no longer views you in light of your past sins. He no longer views you in light of how good you can be or, or the good deed that you did today. He looks at you and measures you by what Jesus Christ has made you. And my friends, Jesus Christ has made you His righteousness. He has made you the righteousness of God. I want you to continue 
with me. Let's let's have a great time in God's word today. நீங்கள் எங்களோடு தொடர்பு கொள்ள வேண்டிய தொலைபேசி இலக்கம் நான்கு ஒன்று ஆறு ரெண்டு ஐந்து மூன்று சைபர் சைபர் எட்டு சைபர் அனுப்ப வேண்டிய மின்னஞ்சல் இன்ஃபோ அட் வேவ்ஸ் ஆஃப் பவர் டாட் காம்